from Mumbai is Jitendra Bhargava. He is a former executive director of Air India and more. Uh, Jitendra, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, what sort of trouble is this airline in? And if they're looking for suitors to help bail them out, wouldn't that just be a situation now, given that airline's cost base of good money being chased, uh, what, chasing bad? There's no denying the fact that Kingfisher has been going through a major financial crisis, but then it is not exclusive to Kingfisher. The business environment for the aviation industry is not conducive to profitability in India. As a result of it, almost all carriers are losing money in India. Kingfisher problems are compounded because of a wrong business model. It caters to the up market when the Indian market is hugely price sensitive. The low cost carriers have been increasing their market share and the legacy carriers have been losing them. And Kingfisher is trying to concentrate only on the upper market, as a result of which the revenues have been on the decline, losses have been on the increase. As a result of which, A, unless the climate in India is improved, no foreign carrier under the new government policy, which is on the anvil of FDI by foreign carriers, will put in money. And I quite agree with you that why would anybody put good money over bad money. And that is where Kingfisher will have to take a fresh look at its business model. And unless they can generate higher revenues, enhance the market share, they will not be able to attract. And Kingfisher, as of today, is not willing to look at the real problems. Vijay Malia is going on record. He will not shut down the airline. He is not willing to look at his business model and said, OK, I'm going to be improving things. He's relying basically on some kind of a magical thing to take place that he can really survive. Kingfisher will have to take initiative where he can change his business model, get his finances right. You see, in India, if you look at it, Kingfisher is a very good brand. It's a very good product. It gives out passenger amenities that other carriers do not. But if you're spending seven, eight hundred rupees more on extending passenger amenities and passengers are not inclined to pay for that quality of product, you're bound to be losing money. And that is where Vijay Malia has to take a look and, I, and be realistic that this is, my, this is what I must spend and this is what I will get. Because as you are aware of, Globally, carriers, if they do 70-72% occupancy factor, they are assured a profit. In India, even with 80-82% occupancy factors, airlines are losing money. Yes. And this is primarily because the yield measured in terms of rupees earned per kilometer is the lowest. Jitendra Bhargav, I mean, I mean, I just get to your point. I mean, let's widen this out to what's going on as far as the Indian aviation space generally goes as well. Because on the one hand, we have the low-cost carriers, as you mentioned there. They are the ones who are managing to eke out returns. But isn't it just the case you've got too many airlines uh, operating in India with this sort of unholy cloud of high fuel prices on top of it and vicious competition, which has uh, got to drive many to the wall? Isn't it just the case that there has to be an airline failure or maybe more than one looking ahead? There is no denying the fact there are far too many carriers because if you look at it, you have at least 30% of the seats going vacant if you take all airlines put together. Now, considering the fact that each airline buys to increase its market share, offers attractive fares, which has been a catalyst for growth in the Indian market, which is going at 16% plus, airlines will have to one day realize that you need to enhance your fares. You can't be chasing market share at the cost of profitability. And this is where Indian carriers have gone wrong. And some of the new carriers which have come and which are adding capacity will only aggravate the problem further. And unfortunately, Kingfisher is not one of the airlines which is going to be adding aircraft, but Indigo, SpiceJet are slated to add aircraft. And that is where the problem will come in, and because they will continue to charge passengers much lower fares. And Kingfisher, with its high cost, ATF, as you said, is a huge problem in India being sold at 62,000 rupees per kilo liter, whereas in Thailand, Malaysia, Hong Kong, UAE, etc., it's sold at 42,000 per kilo liter. So with 50% extra that airlines are paying for the fuel, it's absolutely impossible in today's environment for any airline to make money. Okay, Jitendra, just very quickly as well. I mean, so there's got to be consolidation, that's one thing, rather than an airline failure, sure. Now, where would you see consolidation taking place, and is there the will for that to happen? To very frankly put it across, 
it's impossible for any consolidation to take place at the moment. If you recall five years ago, Kingfisher took over Air Deccan, Jet Airways took over Sahara, Air India and Indian Airlines merged together. Now there is no scope, as people have been saying, and but Vijay Malia has denied it, that one carrier will probably have to fold up in the near future if the situation has to improve. Because otherwise, if airlines continue to sustain losses, if Kingfisher is in the docks today, there is no denying the fact that there may be a couple of other carriers who may also join the kind of fate Kingfisher is going through. Right, very quickly, what about the, you know, we talked about the taxes on uh, those fuels, uh, fuel prices as well. They're not, but uh, there's some, there may be some relief because some of these carriers may be allowed to ship in airline fuel from abroad now. You see, it is only after Kingfisher's aggravated problem surfaced that the government of India took serious note and took certain measures like allowing foreign carriers FDI into Indian carriers, allowing Indian carriers to import ATF. But it's much simpler said than done, because considering the fact that Kingfisher and other carriers operate from various cities in the country, how are they going to be transporting fuel? It's not an easy proposition, but there is deny, no denying the fact that the government of India may have to step in because many of the states under the federal structure charge huge sale tax amounting to 30 percent. So if the sale tax can be brought down to 8 percent, as some of the states have done, then probably that would be a big relief. Otherwise, with the kind of business environment we have, no airline can make profit, howsoever efficient, howsoever good a business model an airline may have. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Jitendra.